Welcome to part 6 of the DA50RG aircraft design. We are now done with the nose. We are going to go ahead and create the fuselage. So you can go to insert new geometrical set and we're going to name this the fuselage. Make sure the feather is the main component and then go to fuselage, right click and define in work object so that now all the new elements are going to the fuselage. Now, if you recall the first uh, image that I showed you, the sketch that I made, we have all these plane sections and there are these estimate uh, dimensions that I created. And this is exactly what we are going to do. So now we are at this around this point and we just need to continue from the X, Y plane and create new planes. We're going to create some points up and down to define where our geometry is. And then we're going to create some curves to create the wireframe. And from there, we can generate our surfaces as we want them to be. So let's dive in. We're going to start by creating the, the planes. So show our YZ plane, which is our main component here. And we're going to offset planes from this uh, YZ plane. So go to wireframe menu, select plane, and the first plane, we are, this is our reference plane, and the first plane, the, the measurement is 1045. Another one, again, from this plane, the measurement is 1915. Another one, still using YZ, and the dimension is 2900. Let's continue with the trend, new plane, dimension 3190, another one, dimension 4457, and lastly, new plane offset from YZ and dimension is 6880, 6860, sorry, 6860. So this is the length of the aircraft and we have just subdivided it into different sections. Then because this final product here, we had to do a lot of split and we mirrored one side to the other side. We're not going to use the initial sketch that we had. Instead, you're going to select the edge and go to boundary in the operation menu and select OK. This is what we're going to use to continue from the last part. Let's start with two points here by intersecting this geometry. So from wireframe menu, select intersection, our new boundary, and we are intersecting this using the YZ plane. But more importantly is we have a couple of access systems. So make sure we're using access system one. And we're going to use the ZX plane. Preview, we have two points and select OK. Keep all the sub elements. We want both uh, the points, but uh, as you can see, uh, we can't use these points because they are just one element. So what we need to do is disassemble them. Go to operation menu and select disassemble. Select the intersect and click OK. As you can see, we have generated two points here and that's exactly what we want. So now let's start creating the points on the plane. So the first point we are creating on the YZ plane, select point on plane. The horizontal distance is zero and the vertical distance is 1100. Move the negative here, preview and select OK. The next point is on this plane and the horizontal distance once again is zero. And then the vertical distance is going to be 1251. 1251. Select OK. Another point on this plane. Horizontal is zero. And the vertical distance is 12.16.
preview, select OK. So once again, select point by coordinates. The Z component is going to be 2090. The Y component is 0 and the Z component is 1200. This right here, right click and clear selection. Uh, let's define the points again. It's uh, X is 12, 2090, Y is 0 and the Z is 1200. Preview and select OK. Another point by coordinate. X is 3190, Y is 0, and Z is going to be 1000. Preview. Uh, once again, let's deselect this, clear this selection. I don't know why it keeps going to access point 2, uh, access system 2, but uh, X once again is 3190, Y is 0, and Z is 1000 preview and select ok then one more it's going to be right here at the end but let's use coordinates x is 6860 clear this selection X is 6860, Y is 0, and Z is going to be 800. Preview, select OK. Lastly, another one on this plane as well. We can use either plane or coordinates. Uh, let's select on plane. The horizontal is 0 and the vertical is 500. Five hundred preview and select OK. To kickstart our bottom profile, we are going to reuse one of the curves that we used to create the wing, and you can find it on the geometrical set that was used uh, when creating this wing. There are points, and then you have a spline, and we need spline one. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to split it using this uh, plane right here. So go to uh, operation, select split definition, split spline one using uh, plane nine or whatever plane number you are at. Select okay. And then go to side view it's going to help you visualize well so i need this point to be i just need to reuse uh, a particular section of the curve not all of it so we can once again create another point around here because i want this bottom profile to come and join in so create a point on curve and place it about this point. Select OK. And we can either split or trim, but I'm going to split this using the newly created point. I need the other side and select OK. From here, we can now create a connecting spline from the nose to the new uh, curve. So select spline, start here, and then this is the end point, and it is tangent to this curve, and select OK. Now, as you can see, we don't have many connecting points from this point to this, so we're going to create two more points. The first one is going to be at the center of this plane, so click point on plane, and everything is zero. Horizontal and vertical distance is zero this zero preview and select okay 
and then the other one we can offset from this uh, point so go to operation and select translate this point the direction is the x component and i'm just going to drag it up to about this point right here let's make it 1730 preview and okay now we can connect from here so select spline once again and the edge of the split here which is tangent to this curve in this direction that we are heading to then the second point that point and lastly this point go back to side view so we want to try to make this uh, a little bit straight so you're going to insert tangency direction on the y-axis i'm just right clicking on this or you can select here it's facing on that side make sure it's continuing to where you are heading to and select ok so now we have a complete bottom profile go to join from the operation menu and just join all the three profiles check for continuity and click ok the top profile i'm going to create it in two sections this is going to be evident later why but select spline start from this point and just connect the three of them and make this one tangent in the x axis and select ok then again select spline start here and make it tangent to this curve in the opposite direction and connect all the way to the nose select ok and now the vertical profile is complete because as you can see this is what we were creating using points and splines now in the next part we're going to create the horizontal profile or the width so that we can have a complete 3d wireframe from which we can generate our surfaces and we'll be able to get this profile from this point all the way to the tail we've already created the wing and the nose if you haven't watched please kindly go back and watch all the other episodes so that we can continue together don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get notified every time we post a new episode and as i said we are posting three videos every week and once we're done with that we just go ahead and add the vertical and horizontal stabilizers and lastly the propeller and we'll be done so see you in the next part